Hey guys, how's it going? DJ2 here, and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World, and welcome to welcome to a bit of a, a talk. This is not going to be like most of my regular videos. In this video, as you guys can see, I have right here, um, we're going to talk about the Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 2 release date. We're going to talk about, uh, but we're going to talk about how that I feel is going to affect Save the World. Now, this video, it, it might take a little while. Uh, it might ramble a little bit because we're going to get into the Unreal Engine 4.23, the Chaos System Engine. And we're going to kind of go through that. And I want to talk about it because um, this is really, really interesting to me and really important also. Um, I'm really curious to see how they're going to take this and and what they're going to do with it, uh, especially for Save the World. Now, we are going to mention Battle Royale a couple of times in this video, but we're going to mostly focus on Save the World and what we haven't gotten in the past as well. So um, if you guys are here for uh, one of my videos, like uh, like talking about a must have or, or talking about the game, uh, there will be a video later today about that, uh, a must have, which I'm still debating. I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to make the Night Owl the must have of this week. It's very interesting. But anyway, anyway. <clears throat> let's jump into this guys um and let's talk about this post so thank you for being here guys i really appreciate it thank you very much for supporting me thank you for watching thank you for using my creator code hashtag epic partner you guys are amazing i really 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 appreciate it guys all right let's start with reading this so uh, a couple of days ago um yesterday or no a couple of days ago yeah a couple of days ago a couple of days ago this came out saying hey fortnite community the entire Fortnite community. Beginning with the release 1150 update in early February, which yes, they have confirmed we're going to be getting instead of the season ending and version 12 coming out uh, um, fe February 6th, like we had originally uh, intent uh, or thought, uh, version 11.50 we're is going to be coming out. So 1150 is going to be coming out probably next week or sometime around there. Uh, I think it's going to be coming around around February 6th. So. Fortnite will be moving to Unreal Engine's Chaos Physics System. This is Unreal Engine 4.23, which we're going to talk about in a second. At launch, the goal is to ensure that Fortnite still feels like Fortnite. Now, that may not seem like a big deal, but you're going to see why it's such a big deal. Along the way, there will be some bumps, so we're starting tests with small group of players. We're also closely monitoring feedback and make improvements over time. Now, as far as I can tell, I don't think that this has been implemented in save the world yet unless it's the uh imp impact system um what was that called again the collision the collision system uh now when they said oh that they were going to do a collision update that kind of makes me think that they that save the world is actually already implementing some of that again we'll talk about that in a second too um We'll also close. Okay. With the addition of 1150 update, Chapter 2 Season 2 is now expected to launch Thursday, February 20th. Chapter 2 Season 2 will feature something with multiple something. We can't brief you all uh, on all of next season secrets yes, yet. So apparently there's going to be another collaboration or multiple collaborations and who knows what else is going to happen. Uh, before the season ends, we'll have additional overtime challenges and a new two week event. Uh, stay tuned to Fortnite social channels for more details. Now I'm kind of happy about this because I personally have not touched Battle Royale. I really want, well, I haven't in a while. I really need to get some Battle Royale gameplay that we might do some today um, on stream, but I really do want to do some. Um, hopefully you guys will join me to carry me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, but I, I really want to grind out some more of the rewards because uh, yeah, we can use them and save the world. And that's pretty awesome. Maybe someday, It'll be vice versa, too, and we'll be able to use what we have and save the world in Battle Royale, maybe. Uh, or the shop will come to save the world. That would be fantastic. But anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. Uh, what we're here to talk about is to get into it with what is the Unreal Engine 4.23. Well, I want to talk about it. And I'm very briefly going to go over what it is. So this is the Unreal Engine website. Uh, this is the document website. And... Um, I really, really love the Unreal Engine. Uh, ever since Unreal Tournament and before that, uh, I I think it's it's amazing. And for those of you who don't know, most of your favorite games are built on the Unreal Engine. It is incredible. But recently, and I think this was sometime November last year, maybe. Does it have a date? I don't think it has a date. Um, 
but I think it was sometime in November or October of last year, the 4.23 engine was announced and introducing with it was a chaos system or how I understood it is a more of a environment integrated system where you can actually affect the environment in an entirely new way. More to the point of, and, and I, I don't know if the video is on here actually. Yeah, it is. It is right here. Um, and I'll leave a link to this down below in the description so you guys go check it out. But the way that it's featured is basically like you can see in the picture right there. It is most definitely a, a environment destruction system on a escalated scale. The amount I, I I remember the very first thing I saw was there was like a mecha this uh, a mecha um, a mecha destroying like a bridge kind of thing and every single dust particle and every single chunk of everything how it fell and depending where it was struck it would it would crumble and destroy an entirely different system different way every single time it is. It's amazing. It's, I mean, for lack of a better word, it's amazing. So again, I, I'm, I'm not going to go through all this because honestly, there's like, if you, if you see here, let me, let me show you guys. Look at this. Yeah, we're not going to go through all this. We're not going to go through all that. Um, so th that's, yeah, that's, that's just way too much. I, I'm going to, if you guys really want to get into it, you can get into it. Uh, you can read it. <clears throat> I will say this though, for those of you who have come to the streams, you guys know how much I get into this stuff. And yes, I could do like a four hour video going through all of this and talking about everything and really getting into it because I love the concept of, of this. I love the concept of where seeing what the next generation of games are going to be built on, what engine are they going to be using and how they're going to be using it. And this this is just it's fantastic and yes uh if you guys see over here above my head you can see every single uh, engine release every single unreal engine release it's amazing and if you want to go to it and just see just how far they've come with the game and you can also understand that uh as you see right here epic owns unreal engine so whenever I say uh, on stream or in videos, when I say that, you know what, like, because people a lot of times say to me, oh, they get very upset saying, why don't I, why don't I complain more about, you know, Epic not caring about their, and this is what people say, their main moneymaker, that Fortnite is, has made them so much money. And this is, this is Epic. This is Epic Games. Epic Games is not Fortnite. Fortnite just happened to come along. It was very, very good. This is Epic Games right here, guys. This is what makes Epic Games. And I will say this right now, as I've said before, the amount of money that Ep that Fortnite has made Epic Games is, is, a, is a drop in a sea that is Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine is, is, it, is it, it is Epic Games. So... This is what this is what matters to them, and it should kind of matter a little bit to us too to understand where they're coming through and what they're doing here. Um, so basically, we're gonna for, we're gonna focus on a couple of of key points here. Here, and at the beginning, it says thanks to our next gen virtual production tools and enhanced real time ray tracing, which you guys may know what that is. Film and TV production is transformed. Now we go over here. Unreal Engine lets you build realistic worlds without bounds. Fully immersive environmental interactive gameplay. That's it's amazing. Fracture, shatter, and demolish massive scale scenes at cinematic quality with unprecedented levels of artistic control using the new chaos physics and destruction system. Uh, we've optimized systems, provide new tools, and add features, etc., etc., etc. Then we can go down here to the new chaos, the the, the chaos destruction system, which is what they're going through. Um, and before we jump into this, let me let me just say this really quick. Um, for those of you who know, when season eleven came out, chapter two, season one came out. Um, you guys remember? For those of you who were on stream or watched my video of first looking at it, my disappointment when. The trees weren't the same in Save the World. Um, for those of you who play Battle Royale, you know that it got a definite, 
it, it, it got a new coat of paint. It, you guys know that. Um, the trees, the physics, the, the water, all of that that changed, you know, and, and all of the new mechanics that are built into Battle Royale, the fishing system and all of that. Um, even the, the, um, the Storm King, the Storm King coming to Battle Royale and the Storm King in, in well, not the Storm King, but the Storm King in Battle Royale. You guys saw everything that's going on, every lightning strike, every attack, all of that stuff was set on a new engine and it's it's not this one but well it might be it might be qualities of this one but all of that that we saw in battle royale i was incredibly disappointed that we didn't see the same the same graphical changes in save the world i i i want to see those beautiful trees i want to see the incredible trees that battle royale has and not the weird glitchy windswept ones that we constantly get now we did get in fortnite if you guys sorry in uh fortnite mercy if you guys remember there was a mission where we did get a chance to go into that new system or the new gameplay that or the new graphics i mean that battle royale and creative have and you can kind of see it sometimes also in the dungeons dungeons are very much creative built areas which you know were brought in to save the world and to me, I was incredibly disappointed that we didn't get that full graphical update as well. Yes, it looks a little bit more. I know people were calling it very more cartoony and the colors were too vibrant and everything. Uh, but of course, uh, Battle Roy uh, Fortnite is not a it's not a realistic game in that sense. You know, we do have those over exaggerated characters and skins and models and everything, you know, so um, that kind of makes sense that it would be that way. But with this this is something that this is something that after we go over this a little bit it's going to make a lot more sense that first line of their update <clears throat> so revealed in a demo at gdc 2019 chaos is unreal's new high performance physics and destruction system available to preview in beta form in the 4.23 release with chaos users can achieve cinematic quality visuals in real time in scenes with the massive scale levels of destruction and unprecedented artist control over content creation. Now, does that sound a little bit like what we've experienced in Battle Royale in some of those scenes? The Star Wars one. Users can achieve cinematic quality visuals in real time in scenes. when Well, we didn't see the massive levels of destruction, but you guys remember that. You guys remember the... You guys remember the the ships coming in you guys remember well the 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 interact the interesting little uh monologue you know or or presentation that they did but the millennium falcon flying through all of all of that that was happening and the fact that not only were we able to watch it in real time but to a certain point we were able to interact with it we were still jumping around bouncing around and everything while all this was happening I believe that this was them not testing it out, but it was introductions of things like this. And that's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. And I remember I've watched that scene over and over again. I, I was, you guys know that I was streaming during it. I, 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 I watched the VOD over and over again because it just blows my mind. The absolute incredible, just, just the scale, the cinematic scale of what they pulled off there. It's amazing. So, and again, we're not going to go through all this because this would this would take us hours to go through. Um, but it's it's incredible. They have uh, geometry collection. They have fracturing within the system. They have clusterings, which at the same time, you can set different clusters that as you impact different areas, that's how they're going to destroy them. Uh, there's connections. Connection graphs mean if you destroy one certain part, a certain what else is going to follow after that. So the real time ray tracing improvements that I feel they have already sort of shown a little bit in Battle Royale, as you guys can see there, um, there is just a massive amount of information here, a massive amount of things that they're going to be doing. And it it's it's absolutely incredible to think that they are going to be using this chaos system in Fortnite. Now, before I get a little too deep into this, because I would, let's go back again 
to the news, to the update, and read what they said. They said, beginning with the release of 11.50 update in early February, Fortnite will be moving to Unreal's Chaos Physics system at launch. The goal is to ensure that Fortnite still feels like Fortnite. And that's the whole point of it, guys, because the cinematic quality, the realism that they could integrate with the new chaos system and with 4.23 and 4.24, because we're already on 4.24. The the realism they could introduce, I mean, imagine, imagine in Battle Royale, imagine climbing up a mountain, but then using a rocket launcher to blow off part of chunks of the mountain and chunks falling down imagine building a structure and having someone destroy it but it's going to fall apart in a completely different way it could be a much more realistic way fortnite could go full realism but that's not what they want to do they want to make sure that fortnite still feels like fortnite and that kind of gets me to feel that it's possible that fortnite is going to get a massive graphical update a graphical update that is going to perhaps push into realism which i i really hope they don't because you know the whole point of fortnite is that you know that kind of cartoony look but and this is where i have to go with this what about save the world is the new collision system, the new collision system that we have in Save the World, which I got to say, I've been testing out a lot. And if you've been watching on stream, you know that I've been testing that like crazy, especially with the new Night Owl. The new Night Owl has been my favorite friend in this because the Night Owl is a precision instrument. It's a precision bow. You have to have really good aim, which I don't. There's so many times that I actually miss the targets. And if you guys have been watching, you've seen how interested I am in how the bow and the arrow just, it'll stick in the ground. It'll stick in this, in a, in a husk. And so many times that I've missed the husk by it's like gone past her over the shoulders, the, the bow. And that means that their hitboxes are completely different. That means that the collision system, that the changes that they made have radically come to change and improve what is going on and save the world. Well, I don't want to say improve because, you know, but it, they've come to change it. They, it, It's a completely different system that is being integrated in that. The collision system is absolutely outstanding. Are we the small group? <laughs> Uh, they say along the way there will be some bumps, so we're starting tests with small group of players. I don't know. <laughs> we might be the small group of players. Save the, the Save the World community might be the test group for what they're going to implement in Battle Royale. And you know what? Battle Royale is their big money maker. I get it. I get it. That's what that's what everyone is looking at. That's what the whole world is looking at. They're all looking at Battle Royale. Save the world is important to a small part of the community. And yeah, there are a lot of people who look at it and we love it. You guys know that we love it. So I really hope that they don't leave Save the World behind. I hope that Save the World comes along with this, that if they are using Save the World to test out all these different bugs and everything, and it could be why we're having so many different types of bugs lately, because it's not the regular type of bugs. We've got some really weird bugs. The desyncing issue, we've never had desyncing to that level and that and the, that degree. Normally, if you had desyncing, you just get kicked out of the game. Normally, if you had desyncing or like slight freezing, you wouldn't have freezing to that point. It was, it's a very different. The whole getting kicked to the tutorial, the inventory glitches, all of that. All these bugs are very, very interesting because if you look at them, we had the same kind of bugs two and a half years ago at the beginning back in I think it was 2017 in 2017 when the game came out in the fall of 2017 and the winter we had this kind of bug so is it that we we are already on that engine and they're already testing stuff out and that's why we're having those services I don't know but it really feels like all these bugs that we're experiencing right now it's kind of like wait we these were things we had at the very beginning of save the world why are we having them again now that's just that's just you know so me supposing and conjecture i'm sorry i shouldn't do that but with this changes guys with these changes i 
personally, as as someone who plays Save the World, I love Save the World. I, I want to see Save the World not only progress, but change and and evolve and grow and go to free to play one day and more the shop coming to save the world and the full locker and and save the world exclusive skins and save the world exclusive heroes and save the world exclusive events and and just collaborations i mean so much can be done with this amazing incredible game and i really hope that we're not left behind again it's possible that we were moved into a different engine already it's possible that we are you know in the background a lot of things are different but our graphics are just still the same. A lot of graphical bl uh, bugs and glitches are still there. And to me personally, I don't want to see Save the World left behind again. The Chaos Physics system could bring some incredible, incredible gameplay to Save the World. So I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that that happens. But anyway. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Thanks a lot for listening to me ramble on about this. I I really do love this. Uh, I think that I think that you know Fortnite as a whole going to you know the new Unreal. Four, I think it's a, we're probably going to go to four point two four. Um, you know, going into the chaos system, taking use of that, it, it potentially will take bring it will bring a whole new level of of just graphical beauty to to, to Fortnite in general. And it could make it could it could make save the world just absolutely amazing. It really could. Anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. As always, I am DUJ2. If you guys enjoy this video, if you enjoy what I do on my channel, please do me a huge favor and have yourself a wonderful day. Thanks a lot for watching. Thank you very much for using my career code. Thank you very much for supporting, guys. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.